Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. Three months after record-breaking flooding in Siouxland, residents say the recovery process is still ongoing. Jeannie Derby's home in the Riverside neighborhood of Sioux City was substantially damaged by the Big Sioux River when it poured out of its bank. Even though it will still take some time before Derby can move back in, she's thankful for help from the federal government, the state, and local organizations. The community came together. Um, when I didn't have clothes, people dropped clothes off. People dropped shoes off. People I didn't know showed up to help tear my walls off. It was amazing. Deanna Merkier was also forced out of her home. It was rough, and it still is. It's been the longest three months of my life. I was just devastated thinking, what am I going to do? I don't want to leave this house. It just all fell in place with everybody that stepped up. Merkier said she received $26,000 from FEMA to help with home repairs and is hoping to secure another $50,000 in state funding. However, she admits it isn't enough and she needed to take out a home equity loan. The two women made their comments during a news conference with local organizations that have helped flood victims. A long-term recovery group was formed to help flood victims connect with much-needed services. So far, FEMA has approved more than $3 million for 325 households in Woodbury County. The deadline to apply for individual assistance from FEMA ends on October 22nd for Woodbury and several other Iowa counties impacted by natural disasters this summer. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.